Hi, I'm Josh Adams. I'm the lead platform programmer here at Epic Games. Uh, I'm responsible for making sure that the engine runs on every platform that's not Windows, basically. Well, when I first started at Epic uh, about nine years ago, we had the first live public demo of the PS3. And then since then, we were on stage for the Vita. We showed a lot of stuff at the Apple stage events. Uh, we really try and get early access to platforms and see what they're capable of and help push the platforms with our engine. Platform holders give us early access to their hardware in many instances so that the large and uh, featured Unreal Engine can be used as a good test for their hardware and to really show off the power of what that hardware can do. Then the Infiltrator demo was taking that to the next level and showing these amazing visuals in the context of what sort of game you can make. And now with NVIDIA's help, we're taking these amazing visuals and putting them on mobile devices. So the apartment demo is a scene that we made to make it look like a photograph, basically, but then you can look around in 3D and realize it's a full scene. And it really shows off what realistic rendering can look like in Unreal Engine 4. So when we designed Unreal Engine 4, it was not made around any particular type of game. So the platformer sample that we have is another starting point for licensees, this time for a two-dimensional gameplay in a 3D world. And it turns out that it's actually mapped really well to a mobile device because the way that the, the gameplay is basically a single touch for jumping and it plays really well on mobile devices. So the subway scene is really designed to show off our amazing reflection technology. Uh, it's this really wet, drippy kind of scene. As you move around, you can see that everything's being perfectly reflected in the wet floor. These rendering demos were originally designed to run on desktop PCs. Now we're seeing them run on mobile devices and we're not making any shortcuts. You don't have to scale any of the content down or do anything, and it looks just like it does on a PC, and it's just astounding. NVIDIA has always been very supportive of Epic, and Epic's been pretty supportive of NVIDIA. Uh, we've always worked very closely together. Uh, for many of our demos throughout the years, they've actually had people at Epic helping out working the demos, they've been camping out for a couple months at a time. Uh, it's been pretty great. And with the Tiger 5, they made it so painless to get Unreal Engine 4 running on the Tiger. So beyond Tiger as a platform, NVIDIA also makes a really great suite of Android tools. That we depend on them here, and it really makes the lives of our licensees much easier when developing for Android.